What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on a 2020 Tremor and my favorite truck on the road. And I really like that color. And them tires are pretty sweet too. But today he has driven all the way from Ohio to see PTT. And we are gonna turn on operator commanded regen. Let's find out how. Come on guys. go start with FDRS look at that duty Ooh, we can no longer use IDS on all of these new 2020s we have to use FDRS with that many miles so the procedure that you're gonna need to do or follow rather is once you get FDRS pulled up you have all of your modules in the green if you had any DTCs they'd be um, yellow or an orange color but we are gonna go down to we are gonna go over and make sure all is selected up here and we're gonna scroll all the way down until it says instrument cluster IPC where are you at I think I passed it nope here it comes IPC disable enable diesel particulate filter manual regen we're gonna download it and then we're gonna click run and we're gonna follow the on-screen prompts and it's gonna want us to answer a few questions and yes we want to continue so it's gonna want us to make sure the key is on obviously and we have three things to select from this middle one here manual regen initiation is what we want to select manual regen with active regen inhibit means it is no longer going to regen on its own like normal only you are going to allow to do that well we don't want to do that this is where it's currently set to right now so we're going to activate the manual regen and we're just going to follow the on-screen prompts it is in position two and it's going to, okay, make sure our VCM is connected. No problem. Using IDS, this didn't take long. Let's see if it does anything to the instrument cluster. Still going through, updated module. Okay, so it did that on its own. It's just doing some clicking right now. Heard some BCM stuff go off. Doing it again. Configuring the instrument cluster wants us to turn it off. We're going to hit OK. Procedure successful. So now we're going to hit exit so we can get out of this application. And I'm going to go back and turn the truck on or turn the key on. And we are going to cycle through using our left steering wheel control pad. We're going to go down to engine information, hit that maintenance monitor, we're going to go down to diesel exhaust filter status where it says 70%. We're going to hit OK and it is going to display 100% when it's full. Only when it is at 100% will you get a prompt to clean the exhaust. Now all of the conditions have to be met for you to properly enter operated commander region. The cab chassis might be a little different. I haven't done OCR on a 2020 pickup truck, but I have on a 19 rather cab chassis ambulance and it was at 55% and asked me if I wanted to clean the filter. So I don't know if we don't have our exhaust gas temperatures not hot enough, but I'm going to rev it up here. I'm going to bring it to operating temperature or at least get the exhaust up to temp. And I'm going to see if we get prompted to clean the filter. We'll just trial and error this and see if our theory is correct. 
All right, guys, so I have been sitting here with the engine up to about 2,500 RPM and everything's up to temperature and it did not prompt me to clean the filter. So I think it still remains true. If you do not have 100%, then you will not be able to clean your filter. I have had, I was just talking with the customer, a 19550 I had, cab chassis, and it displayed 55%. It was an ambulance, and it allowed me to hit OK once everything was up to operating temperature. So I didn't know if that was going to be true for uh, pickup trucks. I haven't ever operated, commanded, regened a new Aluma Duty, except for uh, ambulances and whatnot. So... Tell me in the comment section if anybody's ever had to do this to their new Super Duty, if they brought it into the dealer, if those guys knew what you were talking about, because this guy had that particular situation happen to him where he took it to his local dealer in Ohio. They had absolutely no idea what he was talking about. So he came up here, reached out to me on the internet, and had me do it for him. So tell me what you think. Remember, like, comment, sub, share. We'll see you next Friday. See ya.